VTuber 2023 biggest drama. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's oh been quite boy. some time. Oh boy. Since the wizarding oh world bled oh into the real oh world. Y'all ready for this? Oil and water. Get the water. To form an absolute Hogwarts absolute legacy, bro. Normies and tourists chiming in, fanning. All right, Nandu, you have a good one. Peace out, brother. Thanks for coming by. Wars were waged. Casualties. Battles were, 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 were fought. And, yeah, people died. Yeah. The world was never the same. So much vitriol, so much hate, so much passion spent over one fucking video game. Nay, over one dreaded author. The dust has settled. Many have moved on, but Game of the year. no one will forget. But before we continue, today's do you sponsor, specifically Surfshark. Surfshark VPN. Okay. The sponsor of this video. If you're a traveler or do nothing but me. consume entertainment, then Surfshark can definitely help you with that. Oh yeah. As a traveler. You get to have digital freedom everywhere you go, especially uh -huh. if you're in China or in other countries that has some. If you're in China, you're not even watching this video, but let's continue. <laughs> restriction. Stay safe on public Wi Fi with Surfshark VPN. And as a consumer, you get to have unlimited access to different content in Netflix all over the world. Wow. This includes the Wizard movies, which wow. can only be seen in Australian Netflix, but Why? isn't normally available everywhere else. Why? And to sweeten the deal, dear traveler slash consumer, wow. Surfshark is offering a 30-day money-back guarantee and three money extra back free guarantee? months. What? Start surfing on this shark and get the VPN. Three today. months? Add over. All right. Hey, it's me, the stranger to drama and haters, and I have been asked by a certain Usagi to tell you my story. I looked upon his eyes and saw that he too knew. <laughs> I just he's been there. Felt the compulsion to do as he did. So, I will have to be somewhat vulnerable as well to tell you my story. I call myself the stranger to drama and haters, but in reality, I am no stranger to You're drama veteran. and haters. See, I'm a deserter of the Hogwarts Legacy War. Oh yeah. I was called by my fury at the Holy shit, he was dual wielding? And like the Nosagi, I knew it would end badly. Both for me and for everyone. Just like the Coco War, different enemies. Different times, different weapons, but it's the same battle. Same BS. Yes. War. war. War never changes. Never changes. So anyway, it started back in February of 2023. Damn. Gamers all over the world that was a long time ago. Wanted to be wizards. Hogwarts Legacy, the wizard game that would break the internet. Internet historian reference. Let's go. For the wrong reasons. Many gamers and nerds will relive their childhoods, explore the wizarding world like never before, enjoy a good piece of Harry Potter media that doesn't ruin the lore, like the most recent movies, but the recent movies media that doesn't ruin the lore, like the most- This movie was ass. Recent movies. But the recent movies weren't the only controversial things this franchise produced because they were so terrible. The author herself is actually very controversial. Her opinion on gender and identity politics being Damn, controversial. Damn, that's a lot of talking. Demographics. Wait, Yikes. wait, wait. At least the Taliban, wait, what? At least the Taliban know what a woman is? Oh, boy. To certain demographics. Oh, boy. Yikes, dude. Oh, boy. Basically, a strong portion of the LGBT oh, boy. hates her. And boycotts anything that can say splooge fire that welcome in dalton any book she produces any media tied to her name and anything she can profit from and as such when the game got glowing reviews by literally everyone fans of the franchise rejoiced this was their time to finally play as a student of the wizarding world college students bro just murdered that one school, student 
to go to another school. <laughs> Wage slaves with dead dreams would finally be able to go back to a much more magical and creative part of their lives. It was finally time to LARP as a magical honorary British. That's a good the movie. The worst kind of British. <laughs> From the depths of the system <laughs> known as X, Not Bean Bean Twitter, Rose. J.K. Rowling's detractors raged, cursing the game's existence. This was going to be a hit and they were aghast of the prospect. This game is a danger to trans people and it was going to be harmful. <laughs> Not the XQC worm. Oh my God. This Especially the team. going to actually murder people oh and anyone supporting it oh are my God. bad. Even though the game has a trans character and that the people behind the game, even the staff, are actually very actively supportive of the movement. But yar, let's actually just ignore the details. The <laughs> details, details. What up, Nick? Welcome evil, in. What evil and anybody who enjoys it are evil themselves. Let's create a website. I've never seen a ginger with blue eyes. That's Lord actually crazy. Witch hunt and boycott. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> boycott. Even though I'm gonna buy it anyway. Them, the genocide supporter, known as Amano Pekame. Oh no. But first, a little something about Pekame. Pekame is a VTuber under the VOMS project. He's a VTuber that has been around for quite a long time and was instrumental <laughs> in the What the fuck is that? I ain't homophobic because of this, I might be. Fact, <laughs> let's what the fuck? Clip was the one that dragged <laughs> oh me my god. Indirectly helping the VTuber industry grow into the size that it is now. She's actually one of the most wholesome and nicest VTubers in the world. She was bullied growing up. Turning to the internet for some semblance of escapism after years upon years of odd and less than desirable jobs. Everybody loved Pekame. From Hololive to Nijisanji, V Shoujo, and Small Corpos to countless of indie circles, she was as drama free and politics free and unhateable as a VTuber could get. In January of 2022, she took an indefinite break for health reasons, and for her comeback, she decided to make this tweet expressing her desire to play Hogwarts Legacy as a way to relive her childhood, a franchise that is near and dear to her. Pekami's fanbase were glad that she was coming back, and after a month of inactivity, it was all celebrations and merriment all around. And then everything changed from the Fire Nation attack. You probably already know how this story was gonna go. In another timeline, Pekami would have come back from this hiatus and played the wizard game, with nary an infliction to her mental health without being ground zero of the Hogwarts legacy drama, without causing any sort of controversy. But we live in a timeline where that didn't happen. Pikami was faced with an onslaught of negative comments, calling her names that were simply not true, all in the notion of criticizing her. I'm not even going to read any of those. It's a waste of time. time. And fans, while upset that Pika was forced to do this, still half expected her return to play another game. They waited for her announcement with bated breath. Hours, days, weeks came, nothing. The fan base became scared and furious and grieving. She just took a break and was about to return. Now, she has been pressured into taking another one. And it was her folding that emboldened these harassers to come after others. Maybe I shouldn't do anything too. I like. I'm sorry for not posting something fun, but getting a death threat. What the fuck? Remember, left the group, don't stream on Twitch, etc. I've been depressed and I can't take it anymore, and I genuinely want to drop everything. What the fuck? I haven't streamed so much, it's hard to wake up from bed in the next few hours. I'll stream FF10, Final Fantasy. I would cry when the stream starts because I'm very emotional, so I needed to express my feelings. I would delete this later because I don't want to make anybody sad. Thanks for always supporting me. Whoa. That's fucking crazy. If they could take I never I never I would never expect like a a message like this from uh Pikami. Like she's always so bubbly and happy. And like to see this is it's it's very disturbing. It's like it's honestly disturbing because like I, you just don't expect to see anything like this. But I mean, we all have our bad times. But uh, oh boy, bully her enough Let's to continue. make her stop playing the game, then the same tactic should work for everyone else too. They need to do Us more than just go outside. They need to like seek help. Content creators getting bombarded with discouragement and criticism from playing the game. Girlfriend reviews is transphobic. Idiots oh, that decided yeah, sure. to harass and bully the living shit out of them. But hey, we can't talk about 
other lowly forms of content creators like flesh tubers, regular streamers. We're here for VTubers, the superior kind of content creators. Hey. Following Pikami's <laughs> silence, there were other more feisty characters that seemed to raise the middle finger towards the Twitter people, such as the case of Muna, who proceeded to be based. Shout out to Muna. By her wife Ayofi, who also proceeded to be based. Fire. Followed by literally Nijisanji and Hololive, who proceeded Just playing the game. <laughs> and you can probably tell how these people reacted. How I was a mistake. Yeah, also yeah, yeah. had one feisty uh -oh. who decided to support genocide and advocate for the murder of these people. The absolute slut. Um, is that one Nanners or uh Silvervale? I ain't gonna lie. I think that's Silvervale, right? The vixen, the van, the siren, the man eater, the total fucking bitch. Damn. He showed Joe's Silvervale. Ah, I got it. Unlike Pikami, who got harassed even though she didn't play the wizard game, Silver did play the wizard game. Hey, oh yeah. It morally okay to bombard her. The word trans was even muted. And although at first it seemed like concerned citizens only criticized the action itself in a polite way, fortunately, there were brave soldiers who went full blown harassment and throwing a little campaign all over her social media, leading to her breakdown on stream, mentioning how her and her family and her friends were getting hard dogs. And you would think that such harassers would have a come to Jesus moment. Maybe rethink no. their approach if they, they double down, down and they celebrate because they're fucking but goblins. But if you thought that, you give Twitter freaks too much credit. For real. Because a lot of them would even call her crying completely fake and just begging for attention. Oh, woe is me, who got unjustifiably harassed after playing the wizard game. Surely, I would fake crying on public, crippling my reputation among certain demographics, fan the flames of an already fierce dumpster fire and humiliate myself on stream, just for some brownie points among transphobes? Truly. You know, if you ever try and argue with these people through logic, you'll find out very, very fast that they don't understand what the fuck logic is. You cannot argue with people on Twitter. You cannot point out their flaws. You can't do anything like that because they're dumb. They think they're smart, but they're really just dumb. So what do you do with dumb people? You throw them away. You block them. You ignore them. Like, by blocking them, don't just ignore them and let them fucking just tweet because then they think they're doing something special when they're really not. Like, like that's literally all you can do because if you try and break down their argument, they will still say, well, I wasted your time. LOL. Ha ha ha. So it's just, this is just pointless, bro. Just block them. The no decisions no point. of all time. And another V Shoujo member, Fruit, on her own chat after Silver cried on stream, even said this, which is widely interpreted to be her supporting the movement while asking her crowd to forgive Silvervale. Silvervale then mentioned on her Discord, after being reached out by some of the more reasonable people, that the reason why the word trans was banned from her Twitch chat was not because she hated the trans people or was against the movement, but because it was under Automod review on Twitch. And that why she decided to blank out from the internet for a while was because she needed time to collect her thoughts before making a statement. Oh, of course. And while all of yes. this happened, Fruit, while the fires were still fierce, decided to make a stand, making a donation call to Mermaids, a charity group that supports gender diverse children. But maybe she should have chosen a better trans. Quits over pedophile. Whoa! Investigation accused of charity uh, offering chest binders to transgender without parental consent. What? Um, Not that the support would mean much anyway. Because trans kids charity trustee quits over calling pedos minor, minor attractive party. Because she actually hasn't fulfilled that promise. Yet. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I did <laughs> mention that she'll just pick another org. But hey, uh, okay. we'll get to that later. You know what? And look, just so we can make it clear here, I, I don't care. None of my fucking business. <laughs> I support well, I guess we're gonna double back. Feminism. I love women. I love women too. I love women. Women, 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 women. And hell, most of them are gay or pretend to be. So of course I support them. How can you claim that I don't? Nazuna was also contacted and told not to stream the wizard game. And considering how she dealt with harassment, I'd say this was a good decision for management. Good work. In fact, Halo EN and Niji EN members were prevented from playing the wizard game as well. 
PGEN at least, was confirmed to have been restricted to avoid the drama altogether. And Holo EN, although we have no confirmation, most likely thought the same. I mean, most other VTubers did avoid the game actually. Other bigger VTubers also chimed in. But they can did they avoid the game or did they just not want to play it? Like, not everybody wanted to play the game. And like, Rack, just because it wasn't their marking thing. The distinction between the LGBT plus community oh, I want a Harry Potter, but okay, there it is. The protest and there it is. The efforts of the community. Gee, who could have thought that other streamers and VTubers are able to have more nuanced opinions on the matter? Mm. Maybe there's actually people out there that realize that the LGBT... <laughs> I know Shy Lily. Yeah, we love Shy Lily here. Shout out to but Shy just Lily. Just because you disavow the harassment doesn't mean you disavow the movement. And that just because you support the True. boycott doesn't mean you support the harassment. Of course. But hey, Twitter freaks won't believe that or in nuance at all. If you are not with us, you are against us. Yeah, that you are with us or you're against us mentality, just it just doesn't work because no matter how great your philosophy is and whatnot, whatever thing you're trying to stand against, whether it's patriarchy, trans rights, stuff like that, you're going to have bad apples in your group. And if you do not sort out the bad apples, it spoils the whole bunch. So like, yeah, I believe that the movement is definitely important. But when you have people in your movement purposely doxing people and sending death threats, it makes people just not want to support the movement at all. So it's definitely good if you get the crazy people out of your camp. Silvervale eventually came back to play the wizard game and proudly claimed genocide endorser status, officially telling the Twitter people to fuck off and even coining the term Twitter freaks, which then became a term the tweeters. used to describe asshole slacktivists on Twitter who does nothing but harass people. Mainstream news outlets made their headlines about the whole situation and the VTubing community became ground zero of the Hogwarts legacy drama. Bro, all these Infected fucking headlines. The corner of the web with normies and tourists and more VTweeters. Of course, you know, when this happened, I wasn't even into VTubing, but I heard about the whole Pika Me situation. I like you go watch it. The video still up. I was like, yeah, man, I was straight up defending Pika Me. I was like, it's some bullshit. Intensified with Twitter freaks now calling to question V Shoujo's moral standing and were they moral standing. How dare You're stupid. these groups of absolute turf sluts not support the LGBT plus movement and advocate for genocide? Even though genocide can voice their support for the community as a whole and really only specify the bullying assholes. LGBT people are awesome. Duh. Twitter people are not awesome. True. Fuck you. But shut up. Shut up. She doesn't mean My that. drop. Silver Veil is evil. She is endangering people. Uh, how is she in danger? <laughs> um, look, there's a trans VTuber who committed suicide because of the harassment from all this Hogwarts legacy bullcrap. That is this whore Silvervale's doing. Her army of turfs cause all... Oh, boy. Uh, I, I really want this to be one of those, oh, they faked their deaths. But if let's say they really did do it. Bro, that is so fucking selfish and stupid. Offing yourself is never the answer, especially when it's something dumb like playing a video game. Like, and people are messing with you, like, dude, like, block them. Block them, block them, block them, bro. Like, and I doubt anybody was even going after you. Like, everybody that's normal seems to be on the side of not doxing and, and messing with people. At least that's what it looks like. Like, this is so fucking stupid. All of this. It was fake. Okay, well, there it is. There it is. There Not it is. only does shit like this sabotage the efforts of the trans community. You, yeah, you really just their took like five steps back for the whole makes movement. Look bad. Great, Other great than job. This person pretending to have a dead trans cousin for clout and attention, a few people were also pretending the harassment didn't happen and that this was some manufactured outrage just to undermine the cause. Bitch. The war. <laughs> Many streamers play the wizard game. They forget so this shit is documented. All the things you say are documented, man. The drama with Twitter you can say, oh, it's not real, blah, blah, blah. Bro, Silent, we can see it. Pikami worried her fan base. In the meantime, Nijisanji and Hololive members, again, excluding EN, were just casually enjoying the game. And they're having a great time. The drama that combo looked crazy. A few days later, as all dramas do. They just fade into the abyss, into irrelevancy and as something to laugh at as the internet 
waited for the next piece of news. It reminds me of another of community. Oh boy. All of this, while heated and quite upsetting, regardless of which side you are, was supposed to be just a tier drama at best. A tier. Kami would come back in a victorious feast and celebration from her fans, telling everyone to go fuck themselves. The Twitter freaks would latch <laughs> onto the next fuck you, Dio. VTuber streamer playing the wizard game and leave the VTubers alone, and it would be business as usual. But God himself decided to grip this filthy drama cow's teeth and squeeze its milk for all. Hey, yo, world. what the hell? Uh, okay, 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 okay. It might be time to change the channel. <laughs> the Nearly a month after Pika got harassed, her fans were met with a graduation announcement instead of a triumphant return. Her live streams and videos privated, her social media deactivated, her merch discontinued, and literally all content pertaining to her in any way in the official VOMS channel wiped. Pika would go the unbased route and denounce her genocide supporter status. <sighs> and the entire English VTuber industry erupted. If the Pikami harassment and the Silvervale vale harassment was a dumpster fire, Pikami's graduation was a stink. Is this Australia? This pushed the fan base from the defensive crazy. offensive, attacking every single person they could find, even those in the LGBT plus community that had nothing to do with the drama. Not that there were a few bad actors that were. Wait, what the hell? Those Jesus Christ, Not bro! I think he, I think he missed the message, bro. Chill, bro. He missed this, bro. He missed them. See what I'm saying? When you got the wrong people in your camp, uh, outsiders are gonna think it's you. You gotta get rid of them. You gotta get rid of them. Wilford Stonehenge. He, he is on the deep. He's off the deep end. He's gone. He, he's gone. <laughs> Not that there were a few bad actors that were already doing Canada. That was Canada. Just that this time. Sure. It went maximum overdrive. Fans were out for blood, and spill them, they did. Hell, it was not just the fans, it was also a few VTubers. VTubers like Pippa, who actually played the wizard game not because she I saw this thumbnail. Franchise. In fact, she said she doesn't like it, it fine. but out of spite. And the tweet itself garnered a shit ton of attention of all sorts, gaining the VTuber. Five mil. Pippa was the one who turned this shitstorm into a shit hurricane. It also gave her a massive boost gave her a lot of clout her career one vtubers rise to pay for one vtubers fall a fair trade many people would say equivalent exchange the chagrin of all twitter freaks while a lot of people genuinely supported pipa's protest and supported this massive fuck you to the twitter freaks a lot of people in the uh morally distasteful sorts also generally saw pipa as a symbol of aggressive conduct i suppose and that was bad I made a video explaining why Pikmi deserves what she get and Pippa deserves the same. You should watch it if you're a trans folk. Bro, I'm confused how you have a trans flag and you got the the, the fucking the, the, the Chinese flag, bro. Like I Okay. All right. Understood <laughs> sure. This was just Pippa saying fuck you to Okay. Women, not the actual LGBT plus community that took no part of this. It prompted her to make a follow-up tweet to explain things. See, the unfortunate part of doing what Pipa did is that it's volatile. The reality of this entire drama was that there were bad actors for both sides of this war. There is. On one side, there were people who genuinely supported the LGBT plus movement and are massively upset and were in the defensive. They don't blame the entire community or their allies or the trans community for this. They just don't like the bad apples that started bullying innocent people and were referencing those instead of grouping them all together. And there were also those who just kinda used the war as an excuse to attack a community that they perhaps always hated. That's also true. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they don't care about the Hogwarts thing at all. They just hate VTubers and it's like, yo, here's my chance to dunk on them. Perhaps yeah. have now started yeah. to hate. Out for blood and going full mask off and being transphobic and being indiscriminately hateful in the name of a VTuber they love. Some people even concerned Andy and pretended to be upset VTuber fans just to join in on the war. Fucking weirdos. Everybody side. acts like they need to like like pick a side, bro. Sometimes you can just watch. You don't necessarily always have to join in. You can just be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, that's it. You don't gotta join. You don't gotta join. When it dislikes and disavows this hateful bullying campaign. Some people just wanted to protest in peace. But again, there were also bad apples among those allies. 
selectivists, and people so far in the deep end of politics that they genuinely think harassing other people were justified. People who decry hatefulness but are hateful themselves. hundred percent. Those would be the same was what people. what Deepa wanted to understand with this tweet. She didn't want people, regardless of their side, to get the wrong idea. <laughs> I'm barely on Twitter because I go outside and have a job. That's other hilarious. Other YouTubers wanted to understand. And unfortunately, some people just couldn't understand that. Again, regardless of which side you are, it's that you're either with us or against us mentality that is always so dangerous. There will always be bad people, regardless of which community yes, you are in. Yes, 100%, yes. Reality is that any and if you sit in the middle, both sides will hate you. Remember that. Group branded as Remember that. that. Provides a safe space can sometimes turn out to be the most abhorrent and terrible group you can find. And that any group branded as hateful or morally incorrect can sometimes turn out to w, be the most Witcher music, understanding man. Witcher music so good. To bump into. After Pipa played the wizard game and joined in, there were a few cancellation attempts that ultimately didn't go anywhere. Because cancellation ain't fucking real unless it's a corporate down. trying to cancel you. The wizard game, as all single player games, eventually lost interest in the public eye. Of course. And the drama became S tier because of all that happened. The VTubing industry became the battlefield of this culture war. Pikami, my beloved. I didn't want to live without her. I escaped the rabbit hole ever since. I, I feel like I, I feel like we shouldn't be watching this part. You, nobody <laughs> wins in conflicts such as these. I came to this show, to this channel, because it gave me a voice. But uh, now I'm ready. The end, you bastard. The I end, understand now the flames of war. The peace that was robbed from you. I understand your pain. The Kriyokoko War. I may think mine was terrible, but yours? <sighs> it must be a nightmare. I only endured it for a month, but you? For almost an entire year. Oh, I can't stomach the thought. I bet you still have nightmares over it. I wish I was as strong as you to have your resiliency, to have the strength to carry out what Pikami embodied. She was a symbol Bro, of, this is w of acting. fun and enjoyment, and I failed her. I joined the war. I did things. Terrible things. And now I must pay for them. With your life? Join my beloved ocean. Oh. Uh oh. I've fulfilled my end of the bargain now. I've told people my story. Give them the tanto. So now, it's time to fulfill yours. Please. Wakata. Avada Kedavra. Oh no! <laughs> the death spell! Avada Kedavra! Ooh. So dramatic. Who's gonna come inside the room? Oi, mate. There's a new V Shoujo member about to debut soon. Word? Yeah. What about it? What about it for Lots real? Lots of rats that it might be Pikami, man. Cat! I don't wanna see it. That's impossible. Pikami is tired of VTubing. Pikami is dead. voices in my head tell me so. Besides, she has current health issues. I know she's friends with V Shoujo members, but to literally graduate and rebuild her career, she set up herself as Pikami? It doesn't sound like a good- Just fucking listen, man. Just watch the damn video. Give me that. Can you guys hear me? Oh. <laughs> the bastard died for no reason. <laughs> Seems like I have to face it. Anyway, Fuck him. Time. Now, a lot of people oh, may have shit. thought that this is cope and that the bombs project just did this as an attempt to not feel the drama. But, I mean, come on. Pikami graduated at the end of March and Henia came on May and has an entire lore animation, trailer, a decent model, and Bro, this everything. was way before, That's a yeah. one to two month window. Yeah. Anyone, and I mean anyone, working in this industry would probably guess that you cannot make all the work that was set for Henia in only two or even three months time. A debut of this magnitude would have been close to impossible in the short time frame that they have. Nobody just thinks of this kind of shit on a whim, you know? There's also the fact that people were pretty much already talking about how they knew Pikami's graduation a long time ago. I did know in advance about this, because 
She did message me. She messaged me at the end of January. Uh, that Homo you know, with the receipts. She was deciding this. So, if Homo I, say, receipt I really don't think the harassment was a direct cause of Pikami's graduation. But you that didn't got mean the harassment didn't do any harm though. That's actually because pretty aside good. Aside from her mental health, Pikami was literally just about to come back from a one month half break. She was silent for an entire goddamn month before this graduation announcement, cutting a lot of time between her and her fan base and potentially expediting the graduation process, making the experience worse for everyone. Now, Henya's appearance did two things. It made the people who actually harassed Pikami or supported her harassment feel vindicated. And the other thing True. is that it actually they lifted they the Sojo's reputation from a sinkhole at that time. Two weeks or so before Henya's appearance, Silvervale, Veibe, and Nyaners actually they all left, left yeah. the shoujo, with quite a lot of drama around Silvervale seemingly throwing shade at Iron Mouse, and Veibe explicitly saying what that happened? being in the company was not a good financial decision for them. Okay. There were even fears that Iron Mouse might even leave, and that she was still negotiating with the company. All of this... I mean, I, I see no issue with it. If, if anybody ever wants to leave a company, leave. If you want more money to stay, the company should pay up. It's 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 like any other career where you're the the you're you have all the you have all the pieces to the chessboard. You want to stay? Give me more money, or let me do this, let me do that. It's negotiations. That's how it works. Plus, might even leave. I, I have no issues with it. Negotiating with the company. All of this led to V Shoujo tanking reputational and probably internal damage. With some, including yours truly, questioning the longevity of the company with the mode of business that it has. Mm. There also seemed to be nothing to indicate that fruit or the harassment played in Silver Veil's decision, although a lot of people were happy that Veil was leaving the shoujo. But hey, I guess the feeling well, they didn't was like her. because she seemed to be pretty content in leaving too. Henya's appearance actually made everyone forget about what just they happened. They really have some drama. They have some beef. Praising the company for saving this girl in need of a good home. But they we're one not of the done founders? talking about Shoujo Word. because we're still yet to talk about one particular member, Apricot Fruit. All right, so remember this. It's yeah, 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 tiring yeah. to spam the worth the money fruit memes, but essentially, yeah, could have chosen a better trans org. And she did say she would swap out the org if need be. So but she still never sent the money. That deep. Besides, mermaids actually underwent immediate action and removed that one pedo from their group. So that's good. Still feel iffy about them secretly giving kids breast binders and making not entirely accurate claims that may have life-altering consequences to children, though. Whatever you want to do with your kid, I I I say go for it. Um, but I would say never ever force a child to do something that's very uh, life altering, whether it's some type of transition surgery or if it's tattoos. Like, I think tattoos are cool. I have plenty of them. But if my kid came to me and said, hey, dad, I want a tattoo, I'm going to say, wait till you're older. And then you can decide whether you're going to get a tattoo or not. That's just me, though. But the reason why a lot of people shot on her for this wasn't really because of the organization that she chose. That was just an add-on reason to hate on fruit even more. Well, the sentiment showed. Let me read this oh, note. That was just. There are people who were genuinely concerned about the choice of charity, but most of them just came across like this tweet was just for more ammunition against fruit, rather than an actual concern. Though it could be wrong. In fact, I most likely am. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if they don't like fruit, they gonna use whatever it takes to fucking go at fruit, like no matter what. So well, the whatever. The shown is good. The actual reason why a lot of people did not like this was because they interpreted it as fruit throwing Silver Veil under the bus after she broke down on stream. That this was just grandstanding in the middle of the Pikami bullying and the Silver Veil harassment, making it worse and making it seem like she chose the side of the harassers, even if that was not her intention. Unlike the statements of those before and after her, this didn't really have any nuance or specifics placed in it. So many people couldn't pick out any specifics from it either. That vagueness is the breeding ground for many people to come to their own conclusion. And usually, it's the worst kind of conclusion. Most indie VTubers who got caught in the crossfire actually suffered a similar fate. By not specifying and differentiating or even identifying that such a divide was there, both sides just kind of assumed the worst conclusions from each other and assumed that they were in support of the bad actors. The second reason people were mad at this was that she said she was going to donate that money. And she did Something didn't. that until now hasn't been publicly fulfilled. 
people wanted her to put her money where her mouth is. Yeah, so 100%. She, she did and you waved it around. Yeah. And dance about yeah, you waved it around, so do it. She chose, it she doesn't matter. Yeah, just, just send the fucking money. She had to give the money. Of course. The 50 well, no, no, she didn't have to. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a bug. Let's keep it 100. Fruit, even though she said, I would do this, she does not have to do it. Should she do it? A hundred percent. But does she have to? No. But if you're going to talk around, yeah, I'm going to donate money, this and that, and you don't do it, you just look like a jackass. Grant to the organization she declared she would give it to, but she has not. Even if she didn't state a deadline, every single day that she delays serves as ammunition to many of her haters. Of course. Not that the roars of her haters matters to her, though, because she's going the ignoring the haters approach. She learned well from Pekami. If she learned it from Pikami at all, or was just advised not to do so. If you get it hated point, on, giving just Giving out more money than intended em. would be the reputational W for her. In any case, Pikami found a new home. Silvervale discovered a newfound determination. Her skin toughened, mind tempered. And Pipa enjoys a career she only dreamed of attaining. At the end of the day, perhaps this drama was a blessing in disguise for the beach break. No, 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 the worst no, I don't think so. Well, I don't think it was a, that necessarily a bad thing. It's certainly not um, the most. Let's let's be real. The the drama, it, it was. It was a thing. But I don't think it it, it really it, like at the end of the day, people's attention spans are like this. People cared about Hogwarts and trans whatever. Hogwarts is no longer in the news. Immediately, people just stop talking about it or giving a fuck. So I don't really think it's that big a deal. Some people are gonna get give hate, like, but people just love hating on people. If there's a reason to hate you, they they'll use it. And if there's no reason to hate you, they'll figure something out. You know, if they don't like you, they don't like you. They're not gonna change their ways. Disastrous so, war that has been waged in this industry, but nor will it be the last. But for now, the soldiers can come home. Return to your Oshis. Live in the perpetual state of being entertained. Consume your VTuber brain rot and live happy. How was Kobo during all this? Hogwarts I keep seeing all these clips of Kobo. And its legacy. What was Kobo? Kobo was just playing the game. <laughs> Nobody cared. Because <laughs> Kobo's cute. Kobo can do whatever. Special thanks to all the internet people for me to I stole screenshots from your video and be possible without you. There it is. And thank you to Press No Saji for making this video or I wouldn't have this video without you. Ah, see you guys on the next one. Think about becoming a member. 99 cents a month. If you don't like, cancel. Bye.